Hello and welcome back to Drawing 6, another the video series under isometric drawing. So if you missed the uh, other drawings, uh, kindly check the description of this video, you'll find a link to those uh, videos. So now this is what we are going to be drawing, this, we are going to be drawing this uh, particular diagram using isometric drawing. So like I do say, once you see a drawing, the first thing you look at it, you try to understand and then interpret it, you know, what it actually means and then you look at it. For example, this we are having a rectangular uh, a block with an opening here. So that's what we are going to be doing. So if you have been watching this video so far, if you, that means if you have watched the uh, last five, you should be able to do something like this. So what I want you to do is to pause this video, attempt it and let me know what the outcome is in the comment section below. Alright, so let me go ahead and start drawing it from my own side. And before we go ahead, if you are new to PE Academy or you are still yet to subscribe to this channel, please take your time to subscribe. The subscribe button is at the lower right of your screen. It's absolutely free to subscribe. Alright, so what I will do now is to draw a straight line. Sorry, no, I said that that means I'm supposed to draw with uh, a thin line. The thin line is the construction line, sorry. Why the bold line is the outline. So once you've drawn your uh, your horizontal line, you draw under vertical line. And like I've said in other parts, the length of this vertical line is being determined by the height of whatever you are drawing. So having done that, you notice the point of intersection. So you bring in your set square and make sure it is resting properly on, on the T-square. So what we've done here, we are going to do it to this other side. So you bring in your set square. So I'll make sure it is rest properly on your T square. So from that point you draw a line. So on the other side. So we also draw a line. So you are going to be having something like this. So now let's take uh, the measurement. So let's look at it now. The height of this diagram you are having here is uh, 20 mm. It's 20 mm. So I'm just going to measure 20 mm. Why the length from here to here? You can see this is 10, 20, and 10. So that's 40. So that's 40. That is 40 and why from here to here is um, this is 25 and this is um, 35 so that will give us a total of 60 so that 60 mm is same as 6 centimeter so so now now that we've noticed those points I'll bring back the square and then I bring back my set square so on this point here to so make sure it's in line and it is resting properly on your t-square so you have something like this And you are going to have something like this. So on this point, you bring in your set square, you place it in this position. So what we need is the in 90 degree position. So 
So what we've done here, we are going to repeat the same thing here. What it basically means is that the length from here to here will be the same with the one at the top. So, from the top of those lines, so starting with this place, so starting from here, you are going to have something like this. You turn your set square around from the top on this side. And you are going to be having something like this. So if you just want to confirm your results, uh, don't forget the length from here to here is six, uh, 60 millimeter. That's 6 centimeter. By the time you measure it, the top, you see you are uh, also having 60. Then if you come and measure this part also, you see, we are going to be having 6 cm, which is 60 mm. So, just to tell us that the, uh, what we've done so far at this stage is correct. So, if it's not giving you that, that means your lines are not, are not parallel. That means there's an error somewhere. Maybe you didn't place your set square well or your T square well, you know, things like that. So, now at, the, at, this, at this stage, what we are going to do now is to try to work on this to get this. So, this is 10, 20, and 10. So, let's divide this line into that, those three parts. So this is going to be 10, 10 and 20. So that's with that we've been able to divide it. Another thing is that if you look at it, it went down by 10 mm. You can see this part that is cut went inside by 10 mm. So I can just measure it from here. And then this is and 10 mm. So I just need to measure it from one side. If I, with that, I'm good to go. So you bring back the T square. So we place it in this position, in the 90 degree position, so that we can get these vertical lines. We are going to do the same thing here. Vertical lines. And then place it in this position. So from where I mark the 10 mm here, so what I'll do is, I'll draw a line from this line to this line. So I don't need to draw everything across. And we are going to be having something like this. I hope you can see it. So let me just make this one a little bold so that you can see it. So I hope you can see it now. So now, the next thing is this. Now from this top here, we are going to draw a line inward. So that means we are going to be drawing these lines. These lines here. So it went inside by 25. So let me first of all draw the line. So in this position, insert your set square in this position. So from the top, draw a line inward. And then you draw it another line inward. So let me measure 25. So, so this is this is 25. I've not it. So I bring in the set square. So I'm currently having something like this. So before I, um, all right, let, let, let's just continue. So let's just continue like this. So the next thing I want to do is, you see this line that we are having here like this. So once you bring in your set square in this position, so you pick it from this point. So we don't need to measure again. So once you know the point where you're drawing your lines from, so you draw it inward, like this. So this is this is where it stops. And then from this point here, which is here, so we want to draw this line straight down, this vertical line. So this is from here. So you bring in your, your set square, you adjust it to that point. So 
so you are bring it again in this position so we had the, the point of intersection here you draw a line like this so and with this we've been able to draw to replicate this but now let's go ahead and make it bold so that the main thing that we need we can make it let's go ahead to make it bold So on this part too. So if you are finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. on this part and then the one that goes in word by 1 mm I mean by 10 mm So that's why I said it's important to draw it with um, with thin lines. So once you are done with it, but if you are you no, know, once you have practiced it enough and then you are sure of yourself, you can just go ahead and draw it with you no, know, with your construction line right right away. But to me, I think it's the best approach. So you can see we've been able to replicate it so this what we're having here this is it here so before we round up let's quickly give it uh let's uh give it the dimension so let's note the dimensions So this is this is 40. So you can see that is it on how to on this drawing six isometric projection. If you have any question with regards to this video, do leave them in the comment section below. And then if you miss the previous part, I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video. So if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, uh, please click on that subscribe button that is right now showing on your screen. And then in the next one that is going to be drawing seven, you know, drawing seven will be coming up immediately after this video. So let me indicate this 30 degrees, 30 degrees. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next uh, isometric drawing 7.